All right, we're here with Caitlin Tui, first girl ever to break 17 minutes, smashing her own course record by about 15 seconds. Uh, coming out, you know, the goal was to run fast to achieve that. Did you think you ran uh, the race that you're looking to run out here? Um, yeah, I felt pretty good during the race. I kind of wish I went a little faster. I still feel like I had something left in my legs, but um, I guess that that's a good thing for next weekend. <laughs> Yeah, so we're back here next weekend uh, looking at that. Is a course record on your mind next weekend, or do you sort of take it down a notch to ramp up for uh, nationals? Yeah, I I'm just going to run an efficient, try to save energy for nationals, mm -hmm. so uh, I'm not really going to go for the course record. So you sort of saved by the timetable here today, about 20 minutes after the race has started pouring. You know, you had good conditions during the during the race. Uh, you also had some people around you. What goes through your mind a mile in? You had a couple a couple of people on even footing there. Uh, what was going through your mind? Um, you know, just to stay under control, um, keep the tempo going. Uh, you know, try not to look back and just <laughs> run fast. Now, the course here at Bowdoin is very, you know, it's challenging, but for someone in Section 1 who's run that quite a bit, you know, how do you adjust your race plan, especially when you've been doing workouts out here uh, every every week and you sort of be getting, you know, experience on the course where maybe before you were running the hills hard and coming down cruising. How do you adjust for a uh, race today looking for a fast time? Yeah, we ran a few workouts here um, in some races, like sections, so we kind of just like incorporated everything together, running the hills strong, running you know, good form on the downhills and the, the flats. So, um, you know, I was definitely prepared for the race. Now we can see you really pushing on the downhills. You know, you had, you had a pace car out in front of you to chase. Now, did that affect your race at all? You know, having something to chase after? Yeah, honestly, I didn't really like having this pace car in front of me. It um, felt like, I don't know, having it in front of me kind of like made me a little cautious not to like run into it or anything. So um, I was definitely, you know, not too happy with it, but you know, on the downhill, I was just you know trying to keep my form. So, as a sophomore, you still have two more years on this course, but you've set a pretty high bar. You know, we were looking at last year's Fed results. You know, right around 1820. Has it sunk in that you've dropped you know over a minute and a half since a year ago? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's it was a big jump from last year, so uh, you know it sets a big goal for the future. So you're returning to Nike this year. You've ran there in the past with your team as an individual. What was sort of the impetus to choose the Nike meet? Um, it was a team decision. The team wanted to go to regionals. You know, mm -hmm. it's a fun meet. So, um, yeah. yeah, it was a team decision. And are there, you know, besides looking for the individual title, are there time goals for, you know, out there in Portland? Or is it, again, looking for the individual title, getting that national title? Uh, a little bit of both, you know, just based on conditions. If um, the conditions are pretty well, I'd definitely like to get a crack at the course record. So North Rockland has, you know, a boys team title and a girls team title here at Fez, and now you're adding the individual title. What kind of, how what does it feel like to add to that legacy at North Rockland? Uh, it means a lot, you know. North Rockland does have a pretty good legacy, you know, back a few years ago. So, um, you know, winning last year as a team and winning today as an individual it means a lot. All right. Well, you're crossing things off the bucket list here for track and field. Congratulations. Thank you.